Have you ever wondered why God created the universe and the world? Hebrews 1-2 says, But in these last days He has spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed heir of all things, and through whom also He made the universe. What does this mean? Let's find out. The first thing to know is that there was a fall of angels before the creation of the universe and the world. Since the Bible doesn't explicitly state why God created everything, we can only gather clues about the reason based on this fact. God created a place for the punishment of those fallen angels. So by the agreement of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it was decided to create a place for punishment. Refer to Genesis 1, 26-27. And the Bible says that the Son was entrusted with this creation. Hebrews 1-2 says, But in these last days He has spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed heir of all things, and through whom also He made the universe. Of course, the phrase all things does not refer only to the earth, but to the entire universe. It means that the whole universe was created by God's Son to destroy the devil, the fallen angel. John 1, 1-3 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. But why was everything made by and through the Son of God? 1 John uh, chapter 3, verse 8 explains this more clearly. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. In other words, the Bible says that the triune God planned to create the universe and the world to punish the devil, and he did so through the Son of God. So what we really need to think about is that everything in the universe, including us humans, was created with the Son of God appearing to punish the devil. In this sense, we should also consider the purpose of a human creation in connection with the creation of the universe and the world. People often think that understanding the creation of the universe and the world revolves around human redemption, but we should really focus on God's intention to understand it. The Bible starts with, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1.1. It tells us that God created everything. Later in Genesis 1.26, it says, then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. The creation of the universe, the world, and human wasn't because someone on earth demanded it. It was all initiated and accomplished by God. So we must find the reason for creation from God, not from humans. Therefore, God created a universe to destroy the devil. He sent His Son into the world, and through His Son, He destroyed the devil's work and saved humanity. Thank you for watching. See you next time.